Hello everyone. Up to now, we discussed about a root locus, root locus problems. So, how we are solving the root locus. But here, the most important thing is how to analyze the system stability by the root locus. Our intention is to system stability. Yeah. How to analyze the system stability? What is stability? What is the meaning of stability generally? When bounded input is given to the sum system, the bounded output must be generated. But how to analyze the given system is in stable system or not by the root locus. So for that purpose, we will consider a two pole system. It doesn't have any zeros. This is the pole and this is the A is the pole and B is the pole. These two poles are supplying so traveling traveling like this and it will reach at this point some c and one root locus is uh, traveling to the infinite zero and we touch at the point assume some d here the another root locus also traveling through this and it will touch at the point e okay so this is the root locus given root locus Simply I can tell uh, the, the system is like this. The system g of s equal to 1 by s minus a s minus b. 1 s minus a and s minus b. By using this transfer function we will draw this the root locus. Now I will take a, b are the poles. C are the touching point, D are the, the intersection of the imaginary axis. So then how we will define the these system stability. So generally the system stability depends on the only the poles. It will depends on the poles only, poles and poles direction. So now we can get some regions. What are those? AC is the one region and BC is the one region and CD is the one region and CE is the one region actually these all are the regions generally so these regions will decide the system stability so first I will take two regions the first is the regions DC and C so look at here these are the two regions DC as well as CE. This point to this point is one region and this point to this point is one region. Okay. In these two regions and DC and the CE regions. So this is the one region, this is the one region. That means between CE and CD, between CD and CE you can take pole in anywhere generally the damping ratio is like this between 0 less than zeta less than 1 why we are taking the damping ratio actually the damping ratio will decide the system is under damped or over damped or critically damped it, at this region generally is your second order system poles is complex conjugate poles poles is the complex conjugate because if you take one point here, this is combination of real and imaginary. So that's why complex conjugate poles. In this, if you have the two poles between two regions, the system is called underdamped system. The system is called the underdamped system. So this is the one, one stability condition. What is the second condition? Here, the second condition take points D and E for example it will touch for example it will at the exact point D and point E then if two poles are like exactly in imaginary axis what happen it is marginally stable system okay if poles yet D and E both then there is no damping ratio then the system is marginally stable system why 
whenever poles are in imaginary axis that will exactly reflect it is a marginally stable system and next if poles are for example complete rhs so this region this region is complete rhs that means after after the y axis e is the rhs that means we can take like this this is the rhs yeah if poles are available at this rhs then system is generally if poles in rhs you know that what happen when the poles are in rhs then it is a undamped system undamped system so whenever the system is undamped the system is become unstable system the system is become unstable okay when the poles in lhs lhs means lhs means maybe we can analyze the stability for left side of the y axis if it is right side of the y axis right hand side then system is completely unstable next point we will take the fourth point the point is if poles are between ac and bc for example one pole is between ac point what mean bc point for example one pole is here and one pole is here okay then if poles poles between ac and the bc ac means this region and bc means this region then it consisting of the damping ratio it is more than 1 then the system is critically damped system then the system is the critically damped system okay next if the poles is this region is completed between if the poles is exactly at the c point only one point if you have a two poles exactly at this c point then automatically if poles exactly at exactly at point c exactly at point c then zeta will be equal to 1 then not this is not critical actually this is over damper system over damper system if zeta is exactly 1 at point c the system is the critically damped system critically damped system okay yeah so keep in your mind these are the different different analysis when the poles are located here that means poles may be here generally the poles is like this poles is traveling but poles is the root locus is like this but when the poles value if the changes poles value is if the changes then system is acting like this okay yes simple simple concept finally if the poles in left hand side of y axis then the system is stable system generally system is stable system if the poles in right hand side right hand side directly we can tell system is unstable system directly okay so these points are very very important in case of stability yeah so this is the stability analysis by the root locus okay now we will discuss one problem regarding this root locus here here so this is the example problem this problem will be discussed in the next session but the loop the closed loop poles will decides the stability okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you